This is Representative Rolanda Hollis. She is a representative, and she's also a Democrat in Alabama. She wants to send the message that men should not be legislating what women do with their bodies. Basically, she's proposing a bill that would make men get a mandatory vasectomy at their 50th birthday at their own expense or after their third child, whichever comes first. I'm not fucking joking. In response to last year's near total and temporary blocked abortion ban in Alabama, and again, can we just adopt a fucking rule? There are a lot of women on the pro-life side of the argument. Now, I'm on the pro-choice side, but facts are facts. Anyway, she introduced a bill that required a man, a man to undergo a vasectomy at his own expense within one month of his 50th birthday or the birth of his third biological child, whichever comes first. So if the man gets remarried and marries a younger woman, I guess she's just fucked forever ha having kids. Anyway, uh, Representative Rolanda Hollis, Democrat, notes, under existing law, there are no restrictions on the reproductive rights of men. Well, there are no reproductive, uh, there are no restrictions on the reproductive rights of men because we have no reproductive rights, you fucking moron. Really, really, can a, can a, can a man stop a, a, a woman, even his wife, from getting an abortion? No. If she decides to keep the baby, can we opt out in any way? Nope, we're on the hook for a bunch of money. Actually, can you name me any fucking reproductive rights we have? I I'll wait. Yeah, we kind of don't have any. Uh, the bill says a statement she shared on Yahoo Lifestyle is meant to neutralize last year's abortion ban and sends a message that men should not be legislating what women do with their bodies. Again... I reiterate, there were probably a lot of women that had to do with this particular Alabama bill. I'm sorry, this narrative that it's just evil men trying to get, trying to pass abortion bans just doesn't hold fucking water. In fact, according to a Hill report, but it was from uh, two years ago, a majority of women oppose abortion rights. And I'm going to prove it in a minute. It always takes two to tango. We can't put all the responsibility on women. Men need to be held responsible. The second you support a bill that says I can financially opt out of a child's life, then fine. The second you support a man's right to a financial abortion, then fine. But you're not going to do that, are you? Uh, the backlash was... Uh, Swift and a bunch of feminist harpies saying stay out of my uterus and wahoo. So Peg, wahoo under existing law there are no restrictions on the reproductive rights of men. Uh, yeah, well Peg, you look like a lady who's probably going to be, who's probably going to when she dies be eaten by her cats. And as for ha, stay out of my uterus. Well, there's a problem. Sandino there's a lot of women in there, too. Anyway, this is from a Gallup uh, poll. And this is really where the rubber meets the road. Now you have the keep abortion on uh, uh, on demand without apology and third trimester abortions. Here's where the rubber meets the road. The first three months, generally everyone is fine with it being legal. About 60% to 34% saying it should be illegal. Where it drops off a cliff is the second trimester. It drops from 28% says it should be legal to 65% saying illegal. And in the last three months of pregnancy, it drops down to 13% versus 81% illegal. The only time you get it in the last three months is if the woman's life, the mother's life, is in danger. And for those of you that need further convincing, legal under any circumstances, 25%, 13% legal under most, illegal in all, 21%. So it's more like just a happy medium. 
So yeah, here's the um, here's the graph. Percent of uh, legal under any circumstances is 25%. These are the blue-haired harpy feminists on Twitter that, well, let's face it, they're never going to be pregnant anyway because it would be impossible for a man to ejaculate in them. Because, let's be honest, there's nothing less sexy on this planet than a feminist. Illegal under all circumstances is 21%, although that is upticking. And legal only in certain circumstances has the vast majority of at 53 by the way pro-life is ticking up and pro-choice is ticking down in this Gallup poll and the point is i guarantee you they didn't just all go to men okay sorry but and let's be honest the reason i'm not really going too nuts on this law is there is no way this would pass muster it get thrown out by any court under any circumstances. In fact, that was one of the big challenges of Obamacare, forcing people to buy health insurance, because I believe legally the government can't compel you to buy something. This would compel you to buy a service. Also, what are the penalties if they just say no? You're going to have droves of roaming doctors giving out vasectomies? Also, odd at 50, because... By 50, most people are done having children. But two, women are done at 50. I mean, in 99% of cases, because of many menopause. So, anyway, that wraps up this one.